Hi, this is Mike Elliott, and you're watching a CEO Live executive interview. In this episode, we're going to be talking to Dr. Bassam Damaj. He is the president and CEO of Innovus Pharmaceuticals. Headquartered in San Diego, Innovus Pharma is an emerging leader in OTC and consumer products for men's and women's health and vitality. They are a publicly traded company listed on the OTCQB under ticker symbol INNV. Good afternoon, Dr. Damaj. Thanks for joining us. Good afternoon, Mike. Happy to be here again. For those investors not yet familiar with Innovus, please give us an overview of the company and your business model. Sure. So Innovus Pharmaceuticals, as you said, is a San Diego-based company. We specialize in the over-the-counter and consumer care products in men's, women's health, vitality, and respiratory diseases. Um, we have five commercial products on the market right now in multiple markets. Uh, we have two in the pipeline. And we grow by acquiring or in licensing revenue generating products or high value assets that fit in our um, disease areas that we uh, work in. And what have been the primary drivers of your recent revenue growth? So, as you said, we've had a lot of growth. Uh, we actually grew 298% from Q3, uh, Q2 to Q3 in, in, in 2014. So we are on a growth mode, and that is mainly due to the increase in revenues from the sales of our products. Uh, we, in 2014, we signed five commercial partnerships uh, to put the products in 28 countries. So now we are seeing the fruits of those partnerships where our partners are launching in multiple countries. They are placing their orders, and we are benefiting from the revenues. In addition, in the U.S., we were able to expand our retail presence now to big retailers like Pathmark, like Big Y, like Lee's, and, and so forth. And we were able to expand our online presence now with companies um, like Swanson Health and, uh, and Quest and so forth, which actually increased our revenues uh, uh, dramatically. And with the acquisition of Fluticare, Innovus has become the latest entrant into the respiratory disease market. Can you tell us about that product and the size of that market? Sure. So, so this is um, a very big product, and it's a very big market. And, and for us, being able to enter into that market is, is, is a big transformation in the company's um, not just uh, uh, ability to offer products, but also in the size of the projected revenues from those products. So Fluticare is the uh, fluticasone propionate, which is the main competitor of Flonase. So everybody knows uh, Flonase from DSK for allergic rhinitis. But people, what they don't realize is that the most sold form of uh, fluticasone in the U.S. is not Flonase, is actually Fluticare that is sold by Hitech and, and Acorn. And we were actually very lucky to be able to have the OTC actually um, uh, rights to Fluticare. And as you know, the FDA recently announced the switch of Fluticasone from RX to OTC, which now will make us a big player in this in this big market uh, in the in the respiratory diseases. And to give you an, an example and to give our shareholders a, 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 an example of the size of the market, since 2007, there has been 170 million prescriptions, actually, for the Fluticare form in the U.S., and only 2 million for the Flonase in the U.S. So this is a very big market, estimated to be about a billion dollars in, in the U.S. And for us to be able to enter into this market is a great, great achievement. And the reason why it's a transformative event for the company, because right now, According to the IMS data, the Fluticare form that we got makes about between around a little bit under $300 million in revenues a year. And once the switch takes effects into the OTC, if we're able to retain 50% of the uh, current prescriptions under our Fluticare OTC, we will be looking at over $50 million in revenue. So this is a huge market for us, a very big market, very profitable market for us, and, and we are really fortunate among the few companies to be able to enter this, this market. So this is why we see this as a great and transformative opportunity for Innovis and, and for our shareholders, uh, and, and, and we see ourselves actually being a lead player in this uh, disease area, actually, once the ANDA is, is approved. And in addition to growing revenues, Innovus is launching in other countries as well. Can you tell us about those international initiatives and how they'll impact revenues? Yes. 
So, so as I said, we signed in 28 countries, including the Middle East, North Africa, the Gulf countries, Canada, UK, and, and several other uh, countries. And those actually agreements we signed, they had upfront payments, which we realized already, and hence why part of the growth. But also they have minimum orders, and we have sales milestones and royalties coming in. So now our partners have started to place those orders in order to prepare the launches. And 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 uh, ten days ago we announced that our partner Sotima in Morocco launched Zestra there, which is in the first uh, uh, Middle Eastern African country, and they did the launch with two hundred thousand doses order that we received, and we shipped part of it. So these are not small market; they're very big market that they are being launched. Our partner in Canada, Orimat Jam, is expected to relaunch actually in the second quarter of this year. Also, uh, Sotima is, is is waiting for approval in the Gulf countries now, where they will push on the launch of Zestra and and other products. And at the same time, we are actually fi fi finalizing the ag more commercial agreements in additional countries for our products, which we expect to announce throughout 2015. And last question, what can you tell us about your uplisting to the NASDAQ and when you expect that to happen? So the uplisting is a major uh, uh, goal and objective for the company. And uh, now that, as you know, there are two requirements to be able to uplist. First of all is the owner's equity, which we were able now to achieve with the acquisition of Fluricare and, and, and Novalair. And the second requirement is maintaining a minimum price of $4 for 30 days. And we believe that we are getting very close to be able to uplist to, to, to NASDAQ and, and reach our goal actually in, in the near future. As I said, this is a priority for us to work at because we want to uplist to a major market like the NASDAQ. And, and hopefully soon we will be able to uh, announce some good news on our listing to, to NASDAQ. And Bassam, that's all the questions I had for today. Was there anything else you wanted to tell investors before we close? What I think for the investors, as I always say, the, the company has grown uh, 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 very fast. The, we've shown that the growth is real. This is a growth actually that is a result of the sales and revenues of the company. Uh, the company has expanded its, its product offering. Now the company has revenues internationally and it has very large hard value assets like Fluricare that once it's come on the market, you start to realize really much bigger revenues. As I always say, as, as the management, we we do feel we are undervalued by the market. This is one of the reasons why we want to uplist the NASDAQ to realize our true value. But again, this is the company that is really achieving the goals that it has put for itself. Uh, and, and we actually um, encourage uh, people uh, to come into the company, to invest in the company, of course, after reviewing all our filings with the SEC, as we believe that the company is undervalued and it is a great, actually, um, investment opportunity now for our shareholders. And Basam, that's, uh, that's a great, it's a great growth story in the biotech space, one we've been following for a while and will continue to follow. And uh, we hope to hear from you again later this year uh, to follow up on how things are progressing at Innovus Pharmaceuticals. So th thanks again for your time. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate to be here. Take care. We've been talking to Dr. Bassam Damaj. He's the president and CEO of Innovus Pharmaceuticals. Headquartered in San Diego, Innovus Pharma is an emerging leader in OTC and consumer products for men's and women's health and vitality. They're a publicly traded company listed on the OTC QB under ticker symbol INNV. To learn more about Innovus, please visit their website at www.innovuspharma.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.